Okay, so today I want to talk about archive chats. Um, this is a new feature that was recently added to OpenAI, the ability to archive chats. Um, and because of that feature, we have made a couple of changes in the extension, the way like we um, delete chats, we archive chats, and I want to talk about those. Before I start um, to get Superpower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link. It will send you to this page uh, where you can click on the Add to Chrome button. Once you click on that, it will install the extension in your browser. And after the extension is installed, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll see um, all the feature of the super powered ChatGPT start to show up one by one. As you can see here, we have like folders, um, search bar, the top nav bar the prompt history, all these features, the gallery, these are features that added by Superpower Chat GPT. I talked about all these features in other videos in our YouTube channel, but today we're gonna focus on archive chats. So um, first, what is what are archive chats? So um, <clears throat> basically, um, up until recently, OpenAI only allowed you to um, delete chats. By deleting a chat, the chat would be removed from your history and there was no way to restore a deleted chat. But recently, OpenAI added um, the ability to archive chats. The difference between archive chat and delete chat is that archive chats can be restored. Um, they will go into a special place that can be restored. The similarity between uh, deleted chats and archive chat is that in both cases, you won't see them in your convert in your history on the sidebar, um, which is where uh, we're gonna focus on. So um, we made a few changes recently. We previously had a trash uh, folder like by default, every time you install Superpower Chat GPT, we would make a trash folder. The purpose of the trash folder was to allow you to have um, all of the chat that you delete in your trash folder. Let's say you deleted a chat by accident or like you wanted to delete the chat, but you still wanted to be able to access the content of the chat. The trash folder was like an intermediary place where you could um, access all of the deleted chats and you could read them. All the all the chats in your trash were read only. You couldn't like uh, continue them. Now that was useful to see some uh, like chats that you deleted in the past. But the problem with trash was that first you cannot restore deleted chats. They are just read only. So they are not super useful. You can only read them. Second. Trash could usually like get bloated with, with like all the deleted chats and some people would forget to delete those chats and that could affect your performance negatively because we always had the trash folder at the very bottom of your conversation history. It would always be here, it would like get rendered and like if you had like many chats in your deleted, um, in your trash folder, it could impact the um, performance uh, negatively. So with this new um, uh, release, uh, the next version, we are removing the trash folder completely. There is not like any trash folder anymore, but we are replacing that with something better. So um, one of the changes that we made recently is that we previously had like when you hover over like a chat, you had these different icons. You had a trash icon, you had like a, actually let me show you, um, here's like an older version. You had the trash icon, you had the uh, share icon, edit icon. What we did was we, um, moved these um, icon into a menu here, like what the default chat GPT is. And now you have all these um, option down, like in this menu. So every chat has its own menu. You can like access these, there's the rename, the archive, delete, share, and we added the archive recently. So um, with delete, if you click on delete, the chat will completely be deleted, will be moved uh, out of your history. But if you click on track on archive, the chat will be archived, meaning that it will go into a special place, but you can restore it later. So that's a, I'll talk about the archive um, in a, what, what archive is in a, in a minute. But um, another change we made is like on the folder, previously you had these um, 
like icon on the folder, similar to like chat, delete, rename, change color. Again, we moved all of those into a menu where you can rename, change color, and delete, delete folders. Similar to what uh, option you had before, but now they are in here. Another change we made was that if you notice down here, we um, previously had uh, on the left, we had like the delete all, export all, and when you selected chats, those would turn into delete like number of selected or export number of selected. But because these like options are now getting more and more, instead of having a separate option for each one of them, we decided to um, put all of them into one menu. So now if you select things, um, this menu here is going to show the number of selected and you can click on here and you can see the option that we have here all like we now have export on top of delete and export and uh, our, we have archive on top of export and delete as well so you can try to archive a uh, list of chats select an archive chat if you don't select anything and just click on this button it will show export all archive all and delete all options so you can you still have the option to to like do apply like the change to all of your chat so these are uh some of the changes that we made in the um in the recent update now let's go back to the um archive chat so um as i mentioned earlier you can um archive chat very easily from here so let's say i'm gonna like archive this first one dolly tool inquiry i'm gonna click on archive um i'm gonna see this conversation is archived the archive doesn't uh, unlike the delete like if you try to delete it will show you the confirmation box but um if you try to archive it doesn't show you the confirmation box because it's um like archiving chat you can restore an archive chat so you can go back and find it but delete is like you cannot um undelete a, a chat so that's why you see the com confirmation um, box now where do you find uh, archive chats um OpenAI added this new um, place recently. You click on your avatar here, go to the settings and beta. Under the general tab, there is an option that says archive chats. If you click on manage, you will see the list of all the chats that you have uh, archived previously. And you can very, you can either click on the chat, it will open the chat and you can read the chat. Now this, this chat that just opened, um, it's it's still an archive. We did not unarchive the chat. You're just looking at an archive chat. That's why the chat, you know, they remember the name of the chat was um Dolly and it it's not here yet because you just clicked on the chat to see the uh, the content of the archive chat. And you can if you want, you can continue an archive chat. I can just type anything and it will like respond to me but it's just not added to my history you can like let's say we want to go back to an archive chat and continue it you can do that but until you unarchive it it won't show in your history now if you want you can also go back if you look on the sidebar uh you you're going to see like on the sidebar that if i click on this button that unarchive the chat the chat will be added you see here it was added back to my history and i can go here and like load the chat and continue the chat so this is um like the, the difference between archive chat and deleted chat archive chat can be restored very easily but um deleted chat cannot and that's how where you find uh, archive chat now um the reason this is important this is useful is because um a lot of our users have a lot of chats. A lot of the users of ChatGPT or Superpower ChatGPT, they have many chats. And many of those people, they don't want to delete their old chats. And the more chats you have, because all those chats have to get synced into your computer, it can affect your performance in some cases negatively, depending on your computer, your browser, all that, your system, they all can have an effect on the performance of the application now what you can do with the new archive chat is instead of deleting your old chat let's say you don't want to lose those, those chats or you don't want to delete them and you have like thousands of chats you can just very simply go ahead and like archive like a very um most of your chats actually like as many as you can and just put them in the um in the in the um archive chat area you can 
when you archive them, you can always access them here in this archive chat. But the, the benefit of that is that because by archiving, you are removing chats from history, right on the sidebar, the auto sync feature of Superpower Chat GPT doesn't have to um, resync all of those chats. It only has to sync the chats that are in, in your history. So if you have like, let's say 2000 chats, if you go ahead and archive like 1900 uh, of those chats, they will all be in the archive. They won't be in the history. And um, when you refresh the page, your history only has to um, sync the um, the um, chats that are in, in the history, the, the, only the last hundred that are in the history. So that way you can increase the performance of uh, chat GPT, um, superpower chat GPT a lot. Now, this is this is useful, but um, let's say you you create these chats and like you have a lot of chats and you don't want to have to like go back like in like at the bottom of your chat, like your chat history and like keep archiving these chats. Right, you can do that if you want to. You can go ahead and like select like with superpower chat GPT. Let's say you can like select multiple chats and then you can go here and click on archive and it will show you like archive 11 chats. And if I click on it, you'll see a counter one, two, it will one by one try to like archive all those chats. It did that, it's pretty quick, very fast. It's a lot faster than doing it with just chat GPT. If you wanna do this with without superpower chat GPT, you have to go here, click on every chat one by one and try to archive those chats. And that's gonna take a lot of time if you have thousands of chats or hundreds of chats. With Superpower Chat GPT, you can at least like select a range of chats and do that. But even with that, you're like, um, you don't want to like do that every time. You don't want to like keep like maybe every week do that, right? It, wouldn't it be nice if you could like automate that? Yeah, it would be, right? So with to do that, I uh, introduced a new feature. So we previously had a uh, feature for pro users that was um, auto delete. Uh, with the auto delete feature, this here previously was auto delete. Actually, let me show you the um, uh, previous version. So we had this feature here uh, under history uh, that was auto delete. If you turn this on, um, this auto delete feature, and it was, as you can see here, it was a pro feature. So you needed a pro account, uh, a pro subscription, super power chat, chat GPT subscription. Um, with the auto delete, it would just delete your old chat. It's good, but like um, you don't want to like delete your chats if you can't restore them, right? It's better to archive them. So instead of having auto delete, we now have um, this feature called auto archive. So instead of deleting your chats, it will allow you to archive your chats. And the way it works is when you turn it on, the auto archive is on, you have two different options. The first option allows you to, let's say, keep, um, um, it says only keep the last like whatever number chat. So you can change this number to let's say I don't know. I'm gonna say to 200 chat for example. Once I save, once I close this, auto archive will automatically archive my chat as soon as they get over 200. Wouldn't that be nice? Like you keep like creating chats and you can always make sure that you keep the last 200 in your history and anything beyond 200 will be automatically archived. That would be great, right? So you, with the auto archive, you can do that. Another option is you can um, say archive chats after number of days. So let's say you use chat GPT every day and you want to access the, your history for the past seven days. So you can say, any chats that is older than seven days should be archived. If you turn this on and set this to seven, archive chats after seven days, every chat that is older than seven will be automatically archived and like go to the archive chats. Anything in the last seven days will always be here. So that's another way to archive chats. So there are two different ways, either by the number of chats or by the um, the number of like days that you can uh, archive chats. And the good news is this feature is not um, a pro feature anymore. Both free users and pro users can now access this feature. The reason I did that was because I wanted everyone to be able to take advantage of the performance uh, improvements with the uh, auto archive. So 
Everyone can now access these features. I highly recommend turning it on and setting it. I like to keep keep it like at um, keep the last 100 chats. That's the most performant way to like have your history. And I, I highly recommend like setting it that way. So that's the um, auto archive feature um, now available to everyone. Uh, and this was a demo of the archive chat. I hope you like this new uh, update. Uh, it will be available soon. It's I'm, I just re uh, submitted the um, release to um, Chrome. So it will be released soon. Keep an eye out for it and hopefully you'll like it. Let me know in the comment. Thank you.